Welcome back. We all get them, those ads on Facebook or Instagram promoting some sort of product, but how often do you actually get what you're promised? Here's consumer investigator Lindsey Bramson with the results from the good, the ad, and the ugly. Whether you're scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, those sponsored ads seem to pop up more and more these days. Maybe it's for a mug that promises to keep your drinks hot for hours or shoes that are supposed to stay soft and cozy all day long. But have you ever wondered if you really get what you're promised? It smells good. News 4 employee Michelle Palmer was intrigued when she saw an ad for Pros, custom hair care bottled just for you, it said. So you can specifically say, here's what I want, you know, this is what I'm looking for. So she spent more than $130 on shampoo and conditioner, plus a pre-shampoo mask and hair oil. By the third or fourth time, you should really be able to tell, especially curly hair. If it's moisturizing enough, then she'll have less frizz. Now let's fast forward three months to see if Michelle's hair is in better shape since using Pros. Yeah, you're like two levels, a level and a half to two levels lighter. According to Palmer's hairstylist, her hair is coarser, has less moisture in it, and has lost color. I could tell my hair looked frizzy. I would pull it back up in a, in a uh, bun or a ponytail, and I could just see the frizz, and it, um, it really feels like straw. And that was certainly not the effect we were going for. Is her hair in worse condition today than it was three months ago? It's definitely not better. I was hoping that you know, maybe spending more meant I was getting a better product. A spokesperson for Pros tells me they have six chemists on staff to help ensure customers are getting correct results. The takeaway here, when looking at these products that pop up for you, make sure to read reviews first, especially from third-party sites. And before you buy it, make sure it's something that you can get your money back if you don't like it. That way you're not stuck with something that didn't work for you. For News 4 Investigates, I'm Lindsay Bramson. If you have something you'd like us to investigate, call the number on your screen. Our Call for Action team is working each week to pair you up with someone who can help. You can also apply online. Just check out the Call for Action section on our website, WSMV.com.